Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got another what's in the bag for you today and we're doing Mikey's. It's exciting. You have a very nice bag of interesting. plugs. Interesting, it's an interesting bag this year. Are you happy with it? Is it 99% there? It's, yeah, 99% there. There's like three clubs in the bag that are we're cycling through right now. And is that, we'll start with the one we'll that I'm holding? We'll start with uh, the 60, the, the 60. 60 degree. I have had uh, four different 60 degrees so far this year. Okay. Um, you know, stuff that I've had previously, you know, pull out of the reserve stock or right. new stuff. I've been tinkering with a ton of different bounces and grinds and played the original high toe bit this year. And then Ian was like, you need a little less bounce. So we put that one in, it's been good. Right. I'm a wedge guy, I love wedges. And yeah, this yeah. is uh, very easy to use for me, you know, hit a flop shot, you know, all day long. No full swings probably just around the greens. Well, kind of thing. and that's the thing over the last couple of weeks, I've been stopping doing full swings with it. And right. now I'm noticing I need something like that uh, for a full swing. So I hit a couple on the weekend and it, it worked out. So maybe it lasts a little longer in the bag. Okay, so the high toe is a maybe, but has been decent for you. Has been decent, yeah. This is where I like <laughs> your bag. It gets a little more interesting. People, these are uh, the googly eyes when it comes to artisan wedges. These are old faithfuls. I've had these now, believe it or not, three years and grooves are still sharp. Nice. Spin is, hasn't been affected. And you went um, down and saw the guys spent, for these? Spent couple days with Mike and the team down at Artisan and love these things. I mean, there's a little bevel on them, gets me mm. through the turf a little bit nicer. These are called an MT grind. Very cool. Um, cool thing with Artisan stuff, the little player's number on there, a serial number. So if this was ever to go missing, oh. stolen, or I want a new one, literally just call up Mike and say, here's my player's number and he will replicate that. So the exact me. same wedge would come back to exact you? Exact same wedge would come back to me. Do they make these? They did not make. So uh, this is the old original DG spinners. These the original DG spinners. What I do you played call these. This? It's like a reverse it, tape. It's that. Rounds. It's that spinner. You know, profile section it's, is thinner up there. Right? It, there, believe it or not, there was a time. But people th say doesn't increase spin because obviously shafts don't spin. Right. Um, but it's a flex thing for me. Hmm. Um, it's like playing an eight iron shaft almost. Same feel. Okay. Which will increase you know spin a little bit and check and control. So I've played these now since. 200 series Vokies and I've always loved them. These have been recycled a couple times. They're still lasting um, for you? They the work? True Temper team have, have found me some and they've sent me some nice. in the past, which is nice, but. Nice. Um, yeah, I've played eight iron shafts in my wedges, but I just love the, the spinner and. Um, it's unique. It's unique, it's, unique it's different look. and it's, uh, they work. Uh, I'd rather hit a wedge than hit a driver. I know, so. you've told me that a few times. So you go 60, then you go 55. 55 and then and you 50. go 50 before yeah. you go into your exactly. iron set. Yeah. Um, grips wise, I'm noticing you're a cord guy now. I've been, a, I've always been a cord okay. guy, Z cord, tour velvet cord. Yep. I actually have these standard. Um, I find the players cord from Lampkin a little thicker. Yep. And I like that in a wedge, almost building like a plus four. Um, Did you put a few wraps under here? There's a couple wraps under yeah, there just, it. just so when I choke up and stuff like that. Nice. Um, you almost got rid of the taper a bit. Exactly. Very exactly. nice. Yeah under the bottom hand. Okay, so then into the iron. So you're playing ZX7s this year. ZX7, ZX5 combo. combo. So my So four, where do you split? Four and five are ZX5. Nice. And my six iron to pitching wedge is ZX7. Wedge. I like them. I've, you know, I've played Circsons a couple times and, um, you know, they're probably some of the best OEM feeling irons mm. out there. Um, you know, forged by Endo, easy to move. VSOL helps. Yep. I mean, everything about these irons are, are great. They've always looked good. They've always performed. And I'm playing the MMT 105 TX, but I have soft stepped them once. So it's about 100, that, yeah. 115 gram shaft, uh, very close to what I play in steel, which is Modus 120. Nice. Uh, stiff. So very, very close. Loving these. You're liking these those, are, eh? uh, mm. people ask, you're like, how can you compare them to, to steel? It's hard to compare graphite to steel. I would say very close to me, a Modus 120. The okay. steel is great. Great shots. Um, they don't balloon, which mm. is nice. I sometimes tend to hit it too high, so. And this is a good iron head for that so purpose good. also, so right? Good. It would probably have flattened your ball flight. Did definitely. you pick up a bit of yardage when you switched to these? Yeah, yeah, I've definitely, I mean, coming from Muras to these, I've definitely yeah. picked up probably half a club. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Really nice, yeah. little custom ferrules little on there custom for Little custom ferrules, 101s. Yeah, good looking set of irons. Any problem clubs in there? You, you're happy all through the bag? Irons are good right now. Do you Irons use four good. and five off the tee a little bit, shorter holes? I'll use uh, I'll use four. We've actually, for this year, we've increased the length on some par three. So oh, I really? will use definitely four and five. They're playing around 200 to to even 225 lately, which oh, has wow. been crazy. I've 
made it into my club uh, championship. Oh. So some, some of the holes are a bit longer, but nice. um, yeah, I'll, I'll use the four and five quite a bit. So four iron is what kind of distance for you? Four iron is easily like on a 205 number 205 kind of bang on. carry kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. And then you start moving into the woods. So this yeah. is a, one of my favorite clubs in your bag. I'm biased this also because I like uh, this one. That's nice. I've never played a five wood before. Nope. I've always been a hybrid. Never really struck a hybrid well. Okay. Put this in the bag this year and I mean we can do this video next year I think this will you still may still be have there. it it's nice. uh, yeah the STZ this year's I, I love that three with it I've got anywhere from honestly this sounds crazy for me to say 215 cuts to 225 yeah, five little flat ones and nice it is it is a, a straight utility club for me I, I mm. love the thing um, not a strong fairy wood player so the uh, the STZ five wood is amazing so it's an 18 degree what have you done with the settings got it a fraction upright oh nice okay. one lower and, and or no just upright I think just, it's just upright. An, in upright yeah yeah so it just gives you a little bit more a little of bit yeah ball flight correction definitely and then ventus red 7s i love the for a fairy wood if nobody's tried it for fairy wood ventus red is amazing it's one of your better kind of choices yeah, this so, year so isn't smooth it? nice easy to load um mm. love the flight it gives off it's it's a really really nice combo nice so now the next club in the bag is one that is yeah. actually, it's sort of like one club slash another club because you haven't really yeah. decided. Yeah. So we I did mean, a video with the three wood. We have, yeah. We've done the Sim 2 three wood, same shaft in there, obviously. Yeah. Tell me about this. Like, what is it with this that you struggle with? So I, had a, I have a Mizuno three wood. I have a Sim 2 three That's wood. That's right. We used the Mizuno three wood and, in the video. And yep. then we've got something else. This is a little bit smaller profile for mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I am working on still hitting it well. It just, this just gets it off the deck a bit easier. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, it is a little lower. Um, so you've set the loft down to 14-ish? Yeah, 14. Yep. Uh, again, same, same shaft. And a little bit more forgiving, higher MOI in this guy. Um, I do like the V sole that tech does help. And out of, would you hit it out of some different lies? Definitely, yeah. definitely. We have like pretty wispy fescue. Sometimes you gotta mm. try to chop it out and, and this kind of can get through that really, really easily for me. But then the wild card, what was that, last week or the week before? Yeah, a couple weeks ago, yeah. <laughs> we filmed and this mini driver was sweet for you and funny enough, off the deck too. Like you hit some great yeah, shots off yeah. the deck. Yeah, I mean this came in last week. I have not hit it on grass yet. Potentially this Fair evening enough. might go oh, hit a couple at the club. But nice. Um, Easiest club to hit off the fairway I've ever hit. Wow, see that's... Which is which is cool, so face. I'm excited. There's a couple boys at the club that they asked me about it because they've watched the videos and yeah. they're like, where's your mini driver? And I was like, it's in the trunk, but uh, <laughs> it'll be it'll be an interesting fit. To be honest with you, if it replaces the three wood, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, because you said to me mostly the three wood was a tee club at the time. 100%. Yeah. But you were shocked that you could hit a few off the ground with this. To be honest with you, you were having an easier time than you were off the deck with your own three wood. 100%. 100%. So wouldn't be surprised if that actually made it in. Yeah, this will be a, a this week test for me just oh. to play with it a couple okay. times. I love it. And then the big stick. Oh yeah, the driver. So Ian fit you for this, well, I don't want to say what, two months ago, three months ago? Yeah, yeah. So it was, I was fit for an eight degree. Yes. TB60S. Yep. Um, love the combo. I mean, the shaft feels unbelievable. It's good shaft, Performs isn't it? well. Yeah. Um, it's very, I mean, I am consistent with the driver, so it's very point and shoot. I went to nine degree yeah, a couple that. weeks ago. I was noticing the eight degree was just falling out of the sky a little too much. Right. Um, so that nine degree picks up a bit of spin for me. And um, I do have a nine one click lower. Um, that makes more sense for the golf course, like a playable miss. I'm yeah. sure you could nuke a few with the eight, but if you miss it, there was a, ton, a, of, a ton of run out with the eight, right. which is fine. But there were some areas where you're mm. like, I just need that extra bit of carry to to give it a few more yards. So the nine's been great. I love the Sim 2, it looks great. Mm. Um, Super a great confident. Driver. I see yeah. tons of them at my club this year too. Seems Same. to be probably the yeah. best selling yeah. Yeah. driver of the year so far, as far as I can tell. And then the putter, Mikey. I did not expect, I took the head cover off. You get a nice um, Tiger Woods looking head cover here. Yeah. And I wasn't sure what you had. And the it's putter, a Nike method putter. The putter's an interesting one. This was, wow. uh, Mr. Wonder gave this to me a couple years ago, nice. and uh, a huge Tiger fan. And yes. it's, uh, it's a 001 sight dot, stepless shaft, ping man putter grip. I like the stepless um, shaft. Did Tiger use this model at one point? He did use this model yeah, at one point. I like it, it, it feels great, I, I roll it well. I have been rolling it well. I'm in the process of designing a putter right now. Um, so 
this will eventually leave the bag. Okay. But, uh, but for now, it's working. For now, it's working. It, you had an artisan putter probably last time I, did, I played. Yeah, with I had you. a little mallet with a stability, and it was good. I, I liked it. Um, but when I started using the mallet, I was like, I just want a clean blade, mm. and something nothing flashy, and it's kind of why I put this in the bag and. It's been really good. That's I good. like it. I like it. It's, I like it's the different. nostalgia factor of this. It's sort of like a very personal item. Yeah, yeah. But so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what the new putter's like uh, in a few months when it's done. But uh, for now, this guy's staying in the bag. Okay. Any previews of where you're getting this new putter, or is it a little I am, hush -hush? Uh, No, I'm uh, doing a custom putter with uh, with Betnardi. So going through the process right now, picking nice. shapes, picking milling on the face. I've been testing their new uh, roll control face. Nice. Um, love it. So it's, it's exciting. It'll be, it will be a blade. Nice. Um, it similar will, neck. Are you going to go plumber's neck? Similar neck. It will have a trisole. I like a trisole. It sits very square yep. to me. Sick putter has that too, right? They the do. Trisole? They do. Yep. Yeah. So that's uh, so far, that's Ooh. all I know. And wow. right now my putter is a block of steel. So it is uh, being <laughs> milled in a couple. It's cup. TBD. Yeah. It'll be here soon. Hopefully, nice. hopefully by September I'll have it. Yeah. That'd be good. Get some fall golf with it. Definitely. Definitely. So other than that putter arriving, you may tinker with a new 60 degree? There will be a couple more 60 degrees. There will be a couple more 60 degrees through, and then this week you're going to let us know whether you end up with a mini driver or not. Yeah, I, I, think, it'll, I think it'll stay in the bag. I have a feeling. I, you hit some great shots with it. Yeah. I can yeah. see you. No, I'm excited. I mean, for some of the shots, I was watching the video back yeah. a couple nights ago and trying to convince myself to put it in the bag. <laughs> and uh, off the deck, it's, it's a game changer. Yeah, I so mean, reliable, right? It's an easy three wood to hit, and like I said, I struggle with the three wood, so it'll probably end up in the bag. I think there'll be a few people happy to hear that. Love it. Okay, well that's Mikey's bag. I, honestly, one of the more interesting bags I've seen in quite some time. Yours is usually a good one. I always like the little artisan flavor in there. Yeah. The little tiger flavor in there is always good. Always tiger something. Fans, so. Always something different. Um, so we will probably be seeing Ryan Bratt's bag at some point soon. You'll be seeing my bag at some point soon. So more of these to come. Hope you guys are enjoying them. They're fun for us to do. Definitely. Ironically, we all work together and I didn't really know exactly what Mikey was playing at this point. So it's kind of fun for us to do also. Definitely. Awesome. Okay, well, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.